So in part two of this project, I'm going to show you how to set up a Llama, and then we're going to have a look at how many of these sensors we can import from the A16 board and how we can set up our alarm system. So Alamo is an alarm system integration designed for Home Assistant. It is on the Hex platform, so you need to install Hex. I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how to do that. So there's two, two components. There's the Alamo functionality side, and then there's the Alamo panel card. So that could be used, for example, on a tablet somewhere in your house to make changes to the alarm system. Um, it's fully user integrate designed, so you don't need to worry about any YAML coding here. There's four different alarm modes, away, home, night, and custom bypass. Um, you can use all different types of entities within Home Assistant as your security sensors, and it will automatically restore to its previous state after a restart. So to install Alama, we open the Hex repository and then open the link and we download this. We can just use the version. I'll just really use the latest release. So we'll download that. We go to settings. It requires a restart. Next, we're going to install our Alamo card. So we go to Hex again and search for Alamo. There we go, Alamo card. And we'll go and download this. We don't need to restart, we just do a reload. Now that it's all installed, you'll see that Alamo is appearing on the left hand side over here. So we've got three tabs. We've got the general modes and areas section. We've got the sensors. This is where Home Assistant has already pulled in default sensors that it's found within its system. We've got the codes, which is where we set up alarm codes and we've got the actions section. These are effectively automations that you can control within the alarm system. So the first thing we need to do is go along to the sensors. Now you'll see that there's a number of sensors that have pulled in here. We've got some of my Apollo motion sensors pulling in here. Um, and we've got some other things like we've got a front door sensor. That's just one of my um, Zigbee door sensors but what we need to do now you'll see that we've only got one door sensor pulling in from the Kenkeny. now let me show you why that is took me a little bit of figuring but I've worked out why they don't come in by default so we need to go to our settings devices and services and we go along here to our we go along here to the device and down here we've got the sensors so you'll see here that i've renamed the sensor but along with renaming it what i've actually done is i have changed this over here show as so i'm going to go into another one let's say this is a window sensor for example so i'm going to edit this over here i'm going to show as let's scroll down there window and i'm going to give it a name window one there we go. So we update that. Now before it will show, so there it is down there, before it will show we actually need to restart Home Assistant and that will then pick it up in the configuration of Alamo. So we'll just go restart Home Assistant. Luckily it's really quick on the Raspberry Pi 5 that I'm running on. So the next step is to take all of the inputs from your door, window and PIR sensors that were hardwired into your old system and connect them up across these 1 to 16. So between the ground and between each one of these. So you have one sensor coming into each circuit. So the next step now is to go back to the sensors area and actually make active the sensors that you want to use. So for example, I've got my window that I've got coming in from Kenkeny and I've got a PIR sensor that's coming in from Kenkeny. Now along with this, I could add all sorts of other sensors. You'll see even my outdoor camera sensors have been brought in here. Um, I've got other radar sensors from Apollo, but at the moment, let's just use these two sensors. So those we will now go add to the alarm and they are now part of the currently configured sensors. Next, we need to go to the codes section. So this is where we've got user codes and 
um, users for the system. So I'm going to add a user here. I'm going to call it Simon. I'm going to give it a code one, two, three, four. We're going to confirm that one, two, three, four. Um, and we'll allow this code for arming as well as disarming. And we can save that. There we go. Next, we need to go along and require a code for arming or disarming the alarm. And we will just say it's a pin code. Next up, we can go along to the actions section. We can go along to the action section. And here we can go notifications. So we can create a notification. So when the alarm is armed or disarmed or triggered, so let's go trigger. Um, so what do we want to happen when it's triggered? Device to send notification to. So I'm going to say Simon's iPhone and I'm going to say send me a message the moment that the, arm, oh, the alarm is triggered. So basically what's going to happen, alarm gets triggered, it sends me a message so that wherever I am in the world, I know that my alarm has been set off. Now we need to go and create an alarm panel. So we can go along here to dashboards. We'll create a new dashboard from scratch and we'll call it alarm panel. There we go. We'll create that. And then what we do is go along to our alarm panel, go into edit. We'll go and add a section. And now we're going to insert that alarm panel. So we'll select one of the two there. There we go. You can see you've got some options over here. We'll just stick with default now. Done. So there we go. We now have our alarm panel so we can arm, disarm, and we can put our codes in. So effectively, this could be used as on a tablet or something that you've got installed near your front door. So as you come in, you can enter the code on this panel. So now that you've got your basic inputs working with Alamo and Home Assistant, you can have a look at some of the other options that you've got on this board. So obviously you've got these 16 outputs that you could use as well. And these could be used to trigger, for example, a siren as the alarm is set off. Plus it could be used to trigger um, flashing lights. You've got up to 16 controls of things that you could do. You could also use it, for example, to control um, door locks or window locks or all sorts of different things. So you've got all of these control outputs. You also have other things like the 433 megahertz controllers that could be integrated in some way into the alarm as well. So overall, I think this board is an incredible opportunity to create an alarm or all sorts of other different functionalities that you could use, that you could use it for. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.